Hello everybody, today I'm going to present the third problem of the 2024 December Yosuko contest from the bronze division, the problem it's Mu in time. And in this problem we are given a string of, a string of length n as well as an integer f. And basically at the beginning we need to find out how many substrings of length 3 have the pattern x, y, x, j, x, j with x, y, x, i different from x, j. And they show up at least f times. So, for example, for the initial configuration, we have the two moves. And we can't, for example, have, a, let's say, O, O, M, or even three O's because they don't respect the pattern or many other options. And what we have to do is to try and see what are, which strings can be obtained, which strings can respect the rule by modifying at most one character and replacing it with some other character. And basically, in order to do this, we will have to be very careful about how to implement this solution because the constraints are not very big. And also the strings have length three. So if we can find a way to represent the strings without much of a problem while also being careful at uh, taking in account all cases properly, we solve the problem. And obviously, uh, there are many test cases uh, with small inputs and up to 100. And for these inputs, uh, we can even simulate this in a slower manner without observing anything. But there are actually a few observations which can be made and help us find out the solution easily. What I did at first was to check every substring of length 3 and check whether it respect, respects the, the pattern given here, ci, cj, cj. And if it happens, I incremented the frequency of that given substring. Because n is up 20,000, I just kept the frequencies in a map. Every programming language uh, in Yuseko has this option, be it Python or Java. You can also use your equivalent data structures for this one. And after that, uh, whenever I saw that a string would show up at least f times, I also added it in a set of strings that uh, are valid because in the end, what I will print will be the set of valid strings I obtained in this part of the process. And now for each position, when we look at, let's say, a random string, let's say the a from here, this a from here will will only be part of a small number of substrings. So this A is part of the uh, substring OBA, the substring BAA, and the substring AAA. I only consider the substrings of length three because these are the only substrings we care about. And now for these three substrings, changing A to another letter will actually affect the number of uh, occurrences for each of these characters, for each of these strings. But in this case, only the string uh, BAA respects the pattern. So when we replace A with another letter, we will have to subtract one from the number of occurrences BAA has. And now by using the fact that we only have to deal with uh, three substrings during each uh, possible modification, what we can do is to actually try each new letter from A to Z. And basically for each letter from A to Z, you will increment the frequencies of the new substrings that respect the pattern and are actually good to be used. For example, if you replace A here by B, this OBA substring becomes OBB, which also respects the pattern. But at the same time, uh, for example, you also have BPA, which uh, doesn't respect the pattern anymore. But you also have BAA, which now respects the pattern. So you lose one string, but you gain two more strings. And just like with the other strings, if you get a string which will now show up two times, or at least two times here, or on a more general basis, at least F times, you can add it in the set of the valid strings and it will be printed at the end. And after you do that, you will need to be very careful to avoid 
counting strings multiple times. And also you will need to be careful to undo the changes. And these things are things that you will see in the solution I have that it's very important to deal with them in a manner that allows a relatively smooth uh, bug fixing in case bugs occur. And this actually can be coded once you uh, implemented the initial steps and the changes. It can be coded then with some relatively easy uh, fixing and some relatively easy coding. And basically I have the frequencies for each string as well as the set of valid strings. Here I find the set of initial strings and you will see here that this uh, this sequence of code is something I repeated many times during the implementation. And now for each, uh, for each letter, we undo the updates. You will see that at the end, I will also redo them. So the same code written twice. And then for each new letter, we will first uh, add up the frequencies for that corresponding new letter. And again, the same sequence. We need to be careful to also make sure to not get out of the string. And after I'm done with that letter, I do the same thing and I subtract one from the frequency. And again, this is something uh, very important to have in mind that for these kind of problems, especially if you have to deal with multiple, uh, let's say updates or just simulating the process for a few strings at a time, it's enough to just um, simulate this and be very careful to avoid any very slow operations or in general any sort of complications because for problems like this it's very easy to overcomplicate your implementation and end up having to spend a lot of time debugging. And after I managed to do all of these things, I submitted it and just like with the other two problems I passed from the first try. So it was relatively easy to uh it was relatively easy to get it done and obviously uh it's uh i would say the hardest problem from the from this contest but also we need to take note that uh, the second problem was arguably a bit more difficult on the idea side while this one was uh, more difficult on implementation side if you enjoyed watching this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you or people you know are interested in more Yuseko videos, please like the video and subscribe to the channel so that I can make more Yuseko videos in the future. I plan making videos for as many Yuseko problems as possible this season, and whenever I have time, I will. I also plan to make more videos from past Yuseko problems, from all divisions up to Platinum. But uh, with this contest, I will make, uh, as you saw already, I have videos for bronze, silver, and gold. And if you are interested in working more closely to me, or someone you know is interested in improving Tuseko, you can check out my website and ways to work with me more closely. Until the next time, uh, good luck with the next Tuseko contest. I hope you found my videos useful. If you have any suggestions, please leave them as comment here or, or on any of the other Tuseko videos I made. And until the next time, stay safe, happy holidays, and see you next time. Cheers.